All right, let's talk about reflections. I know this isn't the correct formatting, but we're going to reflect the coordinate point three and four where x equals two. So one thing that's gonna help you is if you actually make the line x equals two, okay? And then you're gonna reflect over that line. So how do you do a reflection? Really easy, you count the distance, the direct distance to the line, and then you copy and paste it to the other side. So it says one jump to the line. So I'm gonna one jump one more to get over here. And what is that corner point? That is one and four it looks like there we go reflected okay it's a perfect reflection both the blue dot and the red dot are the same distance from the reflection line that's it that's how you do reflections if you don't draw the reflection line it's going to be pretty hard to reflect the coordinate point so i'm going to do a completely new one here really quick all right so let's reflect over a y line so let's say reflect over y equals, I don't know, negative one. Oops, that's not negative one, there it is, okay. So, well, where is negative one? Well, if I type y equals negative one, boom, there it is. There's the reflection line. So now all I have to do is count one, two, three, four, five, and then do that again. One, two, three, four, five. So what is that corner point? That is the corner point, it looks like it's three and then negative six, I think. There we go bracket three negative six label it here we go okay, let's count one two three four five one two three four five there we go perfectly reflected okay so the thing that's kind of tricky is to actually make the reflection line but if you're doing it on desmos or if you're doing it on grid paper then just make the line graph it and then you're going to win pretty quickly so the nice thing about desmos is that all you got to do is just kind of copy the equation boom there's the line and you can reflect really quick so just to go for style points here i'm going to reflect both of these coordinate points i'm going to reflect both of them where i don't know x equals zero well, where does x equal zero right here x equals zero. Oh, that's just the y-axis okay one two three one two three so right there is going to be the coordinate point negative three and four Okay, that guy's reflected. And then one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three. So you're gonna be negative three, negative six. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Go back over here. There we go. I wanted to go over here. Okay, can I do another line? There we go. Um, let's see here. Uh, what was I saying? Negative three, negative six. There it is, got it. Okay, so. That's reflection lines, okay? You make the reflection line, you count the distance to the line, and then you copy and paste to the other side the exact same distance.